Welcome back again. Um, we're continuing with our AutoCAD 3D series. We're going to show you how to create um, the axle for our wheel assembly right now. It's again a revolution. It's a really simple one because its center line is solid, so we're just going to draw a, a profile of one half of it. So we're going to start with some simple drawings. So first off, we're going to start with a line, and we're going to lock that line right here on my x-axis. So I'm going to hit my F8 key to lock my ortho and drag it out. Now, this thing, this axle, is a grand total of three inches long. So I type in three and press enter. There's my three inch axle. So from here, I can start with some offsets. Now, um, looking at it, the double diameter of the axle is one inch. So that means from the center, I simply have to offset out a half an inch. Now, where the bushing goes over the ends of the axle, it is 0.75 in diameter, so I need to do an offset of 0.375 to take care of those. And I need to mark where the ends of my axles are. Well, they're going to be here and here. Now, from that point, I have to offset, or I can draw it in the hard way, um, three quarters of an inch to where the shoulder is going to meet for the end of that bushing. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to use a couple of simple commands. I'm going to use my fillet command with a zero radius to attach this line here to this here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Now, I'm going to break this middle line. I'm going to break it from there to about there. Now, I'm going to fill it again, but this time I'm going to finish out my shoulders here to show my profile. Now, there's one last thing I need to do. I've already created those. I need to put a chamfer on it. Now, I can type in chamfer. I can come up here and do it this way. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, the tr trick with the chamfer is it is an eighth inch chamfer. Well, I don't have a distance applied right now, so I have to type D for distance, 0.125. And yes, it's going to be equal. So I simply click on this line and this line, and I create my chamfers. Now, again, I've created this simply with lines, not polylines. So before I can do anything, I need to go in on this drawing, and I need to make it a polyline. So I type polyline, edit, or PE, select one line on it. Yes, I want it to be a polyline, and I want it to join all of these pieces together. So once that's done, I have got one polyline for that shape. Now it's a simple uh, revolution again. I type in rev, I select my shape, hit enter, I select my axis, which is my center line here, and I tell it 360 degrees, and I press enter, and I'm done. Now it doesn't look like much right now, but it is a 3D shape. Thank you. We'll see you again later. Bye.